All right, YouTube, I just got home from work, but while I was at work, I realized, or I saw in the news, I should say, I was watching the debate in the House between Republicans and Democrats regarding the new health care law. And I figured this bill would fail. I was hoping this bill would fail because this bill is not conservative at all. This bill is moderate. In 2013, I believe, Republicans in Congress passed a conservative health care bill that Obama vetoed. So instead of repeating that same instance, they do the complete opposite. They go in the complete opposite direction. They go towards the left. And this was a bad bill from the beginning. If this bill would have passed, it would have been negotiated in the, in the Senate, and it would have even went more to the left. So I was hoping this bill failed, and it looks like Trump told Ryan not to put the bill on the floor. So Trump pulled the health care bill, which is good. However, however, in a way, I kind of wish, I kind of, hold on one sec. In a way, I kind of wish that the health care bill did go to the floor and did fail. Because if it did fail, then Trump would maybe look at Ryan in a more non-trusting manner. And I think that Ryan is manipulating Trump. And I think that Ryan will essentially belittle all of Trump's progress that he will make. And this is bad. This will be bad for Trump. Because whatever Congress does, that will be automatically deferred to Trump. Trump will be in the same shoes because they are one in the same to most people on the left. And Trump has to change this. Trump has to say, no, we are done with the swamp. We are done with the Washington establishment. We are going to go in a more conservative and libertarian direction. Let's start focusing and following the policies of people like Rand Paul, people like Ron Paul, people like Ted Cruz, people like Mike Lee. I mean, they're out there. They're out there and their policies do work. Trump needs to approach this from an outsider looking in standard instead of the I'm going to listen to congressional Republicans who have been there for decades. That type of behavior, that type of uh, policy implementation does not work. I think if this bill, well, what's, what's going to happen next? Let's start with there. What's going to happen next now is Trump said if this bill fails, he's going to forget about it for the time being. And he is going to instead focus more on tax reform. So his proclivities would align more with tax reform, which would be beneficial to everyone. And not just people who get tax cuts, but businesses as well. Because when you tax cut when you cut taxes, businesses expand. They do more research and development. Development creates jobs. So it's kind of a cycle like that. This is good. I'm glad Trump did come to a census at the end. And I think the only reason why he told Ryan to pull the bill was because he knew that it was going to lose on the floor, which obviously I think everyone knows that. But I think Trump is worried about his, not integrity, but his appearance, how that would look. I saw on ABC after he pulled the bill that they were really saying that it failed. So Trump failed. And I find this really funny too because... What Trump did by pulling the bill before it could be voted on actually took some guts. It actually took more guts than just letting it fail and blaming on somebody else. So, but you know, the media will never give him an inch of a positive reporting at all. Trump will always be, they'll always fixate on the poor performances they think Trump did in their minds. Trump could be the greatest president of all time. He could have GDP growth up to 8%, create 30 million jobs, bring down national debt and deficit, everything. And they would still find flaws in his character. They would still find flaws in his presidential performance. Strictly because they don't like him. Because he calls them out on their bullshit. Because Trump was an outsider who beat the system. He beat the Democrats and he beat the Republicans. So now the dynamic is shifting. Now, they want to try to align Trump in with Republicans more instead of the outsiders more. Because if they can blame Trump for the Republican Congress's transgressions and their mistakes, then that, by, de by default, reduces Trump's credibility as well. And that's key. That's key. That's why whatever you see happens in Congress regarding Republicans, Trump will automatically be criticized for their failure. Now, if Trump was working with the leadership of Congress 
and he create helped craft legislation with them and he was a proponent of policies that they wanted to implement then yeah there would be some justification for targeting trump with denigration as, as along with the republicans but since that is not happening they have to make it happen and that is the fundamental concept that the left follows that is the fundamental mission that all leftists and media have they have to destroy their opponent it doesn't matter if their opponent does anything good for the american people because he is their opponent he is by default a terrible human and by default the enemy there is quite a banality in politics a cliche that you are only for your own side and in a lot of cases that's true but if we don't bridge the gap between left and right if we don't start administering if we don't start congregating together and creating policies that work for everyone and limit and completely stop this political polarization we will see that our aggressiveness toward each other our hostility towards each other will only get worse it will only get worse and eventually you will see a cataclysm you will see violent upheavals there's no doubt about it it's only a matter of time race relations went back about 50 years during obama's presidency and the way the media is going the way the media attacks trump's trump and says he is hitler says he's a fascist yet they don't even know what a fascist is the more people who aren't really into the political atmosphere or the political spectrum they look at trump and they want to believe what the media says about him to them it makes sense and the question is how can you achieve confluence with everyone if someone always hates you and someone's always there to call you out and then you have people like john mccain who defends regressive media and says Tr we can our trump's trying to stop them what exactly has trump done that limits freedom of speech when the media says he's been trying to end us no he's been calling you out on your bullshit, just like you call him out on anything he does regardless if it's good or bad or bullshit himself so when people like mccain and neocons like that they defend the mainstream media that just gives more credence to those who look at trump in a disapproving manner neocons in congress are just as damaging to the welfare of the american people and trump himself as he, there, there's there's detrimental to trump as the media's neocons are no different than modern liberals regressives and progressives and we need things to change and it's going to be hard to change but trump this is a good first step getting rid of that horrible health care bill very good first step and i'm done